Hey guys, it's Random Man. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to make a prison shank at home. Um, this is how they make it in prison. Obviously, they don't have access to a uh, a big lighter, you know. Uh, but there are other ways to make fire in prison, which uh, there's a couple videos I've seen, which I will link below that show how to do that in prison if you want to be authentic. <clears throat> but um, yeah, today I'm just going to show you how to make the basic one at home. So, first of all, what you need is you need your two plastic spoons. Uh, preferably the ones from your local cafeteria, the white ones, you know, these ones work the best I've seen so far. Um, uh, use a brick, a slab of concrete, anything with a rough surface. I'm using a whetstone that one would use for sharpening knives. Um, ironic, since I'm making shanks on it. Your lighter, as I said before. And a glass of water. This is essential. Um, also, since you're going to be burning uh, plastic and that leaves chemicals behind, and you're going to be dipping it in the water, don't use a glass cup, don't use a reusable cup, use a solo cup that's disposable, because you, I don't, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm, I think you could ruin some glass cups, or if somebody tried to drink out of it next, they die, because plastic chemicals, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just be safe, use plastic cups, uh, you know, use protection, yeah, anyways, <clears throat> let's get started. So there are three main points that you need to uh, hit with this, okay? You're going to be melting down the tip of the spoon right here. See, you can almost see where they kind of like double layer up right there. You want to melt that so it overlaps and it's uh, stiff around here. And then what you want to do is right after, you know, it overlaps and it's sticky, don't touch it for fuck's sake, don't touch it, but you know, when it's sticky and you can tell it's sticky, just kind of stick it in the water. Just dip it in the water and it should solidify instantly. Um, it might still be a little bit hot, so, you know, be careful, uh, save first. Then you want to melt the middle part here. Do the same thing, you want to melt it down, it'll be like a brownish, blackish color. Um, it should melt those together. Be careful with this, because if you hold it for too long, this part will melt and the whole end will break. It'll, you know, droop off, melt. Um, so you got to be careful with that. And this might take a couple times, a couple tries to get it right, but uh, that's to be expected, you know. And besides, when you're in prison, you have all the time in the world to get things right, so, yeah, no big deal. Plus, you can buy these, like, a hundred in a pack for, like, what, three bucks at Walmart, your local grocery store, you know. <clears throat> and then, this, these ones are kind of neat, because they already have, like, this sort of sword-shaped type slant at the top. You want to melt these. Now, you're not, your aim isn't really to melt them together, but you just want to, like, get the tip of this really hot. And then what you want to do is you want to melt out the tip and just drag it along the stone. Now, I'm going to demonstrate all this so that, you know, you know what you're doing, you know, you have a reference. So, cheap big lighter, a glass of water at the ready. Um, get a full glass of water if you can, because... Uh, you're going to be dipping a whole spoon in these, you need to go all the way down in. So yeah. I'm going to be dipping it off off screen, but uh, yeah, just like, just like you're getting ready to do heroin. Just fucking put the layer to the spoon, that part nice and melted, make sure they get together and meet each other, become a great couple. Have an outstanding marriage, maybe some kids, probably not some kids, but you know, make sure that they're, they're, they're together, they're close. You see it looks like that, really quick, dip it in the water, right away. You'll hear a sizzling sound, and yeah, now these will be joined together. Yeah. So uh, don't try and pull them apart because they will come apart since there's only one part that's, you know, holding them together. That's why I need to do the middle part. <clears throat> now, uh, you might want to, you know, keep a shirt or a rag nearby, that way you can wipe off the water. I think a drop just fell off there a second ago. Alright, so, these are kind of bent from me just, you know, playing with it. Um, 
right here. Be careful with this part. Be very careful with this. Alright, that is a solid base. My, my uh, glass of water is a little empty, so I gotta dip it in there and swirl it around. Now, sometimes when you're doing this, you might get like this little plastic foreskin. That's cool. Um, you know, as long as this part's melted together, that's fine, because that's like your base. Just sort of break that off. Yeah, you, don't, you don't fucking need that. But yeah, you can kind of see where it's uh, blackened. Got some water on my keyboard. That's okay. <clears throat> okay. Y your room's gonna smell after this, cause you know you're burning fucking plastic. It obviously it's gonna leave a smell. Now this is part where you get your whetstone out. Um. Okay. So this part you gotta ha kind of have to act quick. Kind of penniless, just to get a little more leverage. Okay. So. Or eating this part up. Nice and hot. And you're gonna lose a little bit of length when you do this, but that's okay. This is the part you want to just kinda just drag it along there. Don't go back and forth, that doesn't work. Because you want the best tip possible. You're gonna do this a couple times, um, and you'll know when you get it right, but like there'll be little bits of plastic like this one. That have to be grinded it off. It's no big deal. No trouble at all. Okay, so do it to the point where you have a good tip. I got a good tip there. I might have to. And you, this isn't like a one-shot deal. You, you can you can reheat them after you wet them down. It's a little bit more difficult every time, but uh, you can do it. Oh, look at that. I got it good on the first try. Now I got my tip. All ready to go. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much how you make a shank at home. Um, very, very easy to do. These are very weak shanks, though. These aren't like the ones that you would put a lot of hours into. So if you were going to use these, I would suggest bringing like three or four at a time if you were just going to go after one person. Because... You want to walk up to them, right? You want to hide it under your sleeve, kind of like this, you know, hide it under your orange jumpsuit. You walk up to them, and uh, they'll be like, "Oh, hey, what's going on? Hey, what's going on?" And you just pull it out just like this, and you drive it. And that's how you do it. You gotta, you gotta bring your elbow up like this, and just fucking drive it as hard as you can because these are plastic. You're using plastic to stab somebody here. You gotta have a lot of force. Now, with a lot of force. Like I said, these are just plastic, so there's a good chance that they might snap um, on the first or second stab. That's why you bring multiple of them. These are so easy to make. You make three or four for one person, and you're fine. You know, as long as you have them on you. Yeah, one, one, one good stab you got with uh, this, and then maybe a second, maybe a third if you're lucky, because they will break. The best way to hold them is you want to make sure that you're covering like the spoon base and you want to cover that little black part in the middle that gives you the most stability that means you're pretty much just you know holding on to this part um, if you're gonna go at somebody like this you want to hold it you want to cover as much of that shank as possible you know you want to really ball that in your fist you can just uh, yeah so yeah uh, that's homemade shanks the uh, essentials seriously th these are wicked fun to make once you get the hang of it um, I've made like nine or ten roughly this might be my tenth one um, I don't actually show those right now because uh, so just so you can see the progress that I went through trying to get it perfect so uh, these are the shanks I was talking about um, this is the first one I made I kind of fucked it up um, melted it in the middle too much it broke apart so I you know I just kind of duct taped it as you can see, I tried to do the maneuver where I try and go back and forth on the grinding stone, and obviously that didn't work. Um, it's very good melting at the base, though, so that's, you know, 
this one you can tell. I definitely, this is my second one. Um, and I, I almost did the same thing with the first one where it melted. That's where you can see how it's kind of like crooked there. Um, then there's this one right there. That was my third one. Uh, melting it down was kind of a bitch. <laughs> I kind of fucked up in the base there. Yeah, that, that part took me a long time to get right. Especially up top. I tried to sharpen like the whole thing and I ended up with this rigid surface. Which, I gotta say, actually, if you stab somebody with that, that would really fuck them up, so... Effective? Yeah, kinda. This one, um... You can tell I definitely went a little overboard there, but that's cool. That means there's a lot of stability in this one, a lot of strength. But the tip is like this weak little tiny sharp tip. It's not gonna do much if you stab somebody with it. You might get one good stab. Uh, there was this one, uh, this was... These are all kind of in order, so if you're counting, yeah, yeah, anyways. But yeah, you can tell I definitely made some progress here. This is when I started getting better at it. Um, yeah, you can you can tell I started getting like, really good at these. So uh, this one was the last one I did, right here. This is second to last, before that, before that, you know, etc. So yeah, these are all of my uh, shanks that I've made so far. I have a lot of fun making them, um, I don't ever plan, and, disclaimer, you know, I don't ever plan to hurt anybody with these, these are just something I make for fun, it's a hobby, it's just something I do, I, I like the idea of prison weapons, the fact that you can just kind of make these on the fly, and you can make these on the fly, if you have a source of water, a lighter, and something, you know, with a gritty surface, like, uh, wet stone, or, you know, concrete, brick, you can make your own shank. Very easy. You could make these in, like, some public bathrooms. You know. It's kind of scary, really, but... <clears throat> yeah, that's that. Those are my homemade shanks and how to make them. Hope you enjoyed watching. Um, like I said, I'm not a violent person. I don't ever plan to hurt anybody with these. If I ever talked about stabbing anybody in any of these videos, it was hypothetical. It's just something I think of when I'm making these. How effective something can be. But yeah, saying that, I hope you liked the video. I had a lot of fun making it. Uh, tune in for other videos. Most of my videos are just shit posts at this point, but hey, I like to make something kind of serious every now and again. Yeah.